So I got hit with this concept to turn these Kobe 6 All-Stars into these Travis Scott Fragment Kobe 6s. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Come with me on this journey as I try to make it happen. Okay, numero uno. You know, the most important thing before I start any project is that prep work. So I'm gonna acetone these bad boys down and get them ready. What I'm working on now is creating the stencils for those signature reverse Nike swooshes that you see on most Nike Travis Scott collabs. But instead of using regular leather, I'm using that black python. Cause you know, these are Kobe's, so you gotta have that mamba mentality, you feel me? <laughs> So after cutting out the Nike swooshes, I'm gonna hit them with some barge cement glue and slap them on to the Kobe's so I can stitch them on to the Kobe's. I use the stencils that I cut out as the guide to see where to put the reverse swooshes because you know product placement is key. Now we move on to the fun part. Since I don't own them giant sewing machines, I gotta hand stitch these Nike swooshes on here with a sewing awl, but it's all good. I'm a certified sh surgeon. You know, if anybody wants to donate one of them sewing machines to me, <laughs> I'll gladly accept it. You know, the email's in my bio, you know, let me know, man. You know, I'll let you know where to, where to send it at. To help me with getting rid of this Suge Knight Blood Red Upper, I'm gonna hit these with some adhesive promoter so it can help the paint that I'm gonna be spraying with fuse to the shoe better. Remember with airbrushing, the goal is never to get the shoe one solid color one time. You know, it takes multiple coats, dry in between, repeat, rinse, repeat, until it's like this. Coke white baby. It's cleanup time. You know, now what I'm gonna do is, you know, fix up any little areas that the tape may have prevented from getting white or any excess, you know, white that may have gotten on areas where it wasn't supposed to with some acetone and a Q-tip. You ain't gonna get it perfect the first time and that's okay. That's how life is. Since this is a Travis Scott and Fragment brand collab, I gotta get the logos. So I use my little stencil cutter, print out the logos, you know, real small, something simple, put them on both pairs, spray them in black. What the hell is he doing now? Well, kids, I'll tell you, I'm creating a black snake skin tongue because last minute I decided I did not like the tongue that I had on there. Well, that's originally on there and I want to do something unique. So I printed some Kobe logos, put them on some black snake skin and hit them with some color shift. The Kobe logo shift from purple to green to blue. Now I'm just gonna glue them onto the tongue, the same process as uh, me applying the Nike swooshes earlier on in the video. And there you have it, a pair of Kobe 6's Travis Scott Fragment collab. Thanks for checking out today's video I did on these Kobe 6 Fragment Travis Scott Jordan 1 uh, joints right here, man. They came out pretty much fire. With this video, I try to make it a bit more informative, you know what I mean? Show you guys the process behind each and every single step, uh, you know, what was going on through my mind when I was coming up with some of this stuff on the spot, you know what I mean? But the idea was in my head, you know, I had to hit it with the Black Python, Black Python, subtle Kobe color shift logo, you know what I mean? Fragment logo, Travis Scott logo, and that 
fragment blue. You know what I mean? With that aged midsole, these are clean. My approach to these was to make it look like an actual release. Like what if Nike actually took a pair of Kobe sixes and did that same fragment Travis Scott collab, but on this model. And I wanted it to try and make it look like an actual release. And this is how it came out. And like I said, I think I executed that as best as I could, you know, considering, you know, the skill sets that I have. It was a dope concept. I'm so glad the client came up to me with this because I had never even thought about doing something like this on a pair of Kobe's. But, you know, this is my like second pair of Kobe's I've been working on for the year. You know, 2022, we started off strong. You know what I mean? Starting off real strong. Man, but if you enjoyed today's video, you know, as I usually say, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and check me out till next time, guys. I got a lot more projects on the way. I always say that, but I really do. And uh, yeah, peace, man. Enjoy your day, night, wherever it is, wherever y'all at. And uh, bye. I got a cat looking at me right now. He's like, what the heck is going on here? But uh, I'm gonna go before he scratch me. Peace. Bye. Bye. Say goodbye to the people.